Hey everyone, guess what we have to report on today? It's pretty interesting. Something that's been missing for a very long time. Community goals from Elite Dangerous. So, you know, Elite Dangerous is a game I played many, many moons ago, was really in. I think they ruined PvP when it came down to engineers coming out. Uh, I think they kind of screwed up on the Thargoids. I thought the initial drop of Thargoids was cool, but I think the follow-up wasn't so great. But they're bringing back community goals let's just you know i think frontier starting to steer in the right direction i think frontier is actually going the right direction and i think it's ever since like they they some somebody lit a fire under frontier's butt and uh odyssey is one of the uh new patches coming out where we're gonna see um, new planets, new uh, geography, atmospheres. We're going to see like a whole rework on all the planets on every system, according to what they're saying. I don't know how they're going to go about doing that, but that's going to be something that's going to be, so, I, I think, very ridiculous. But here we got another Dev Diary type uh, episode. I don't think it's their Dev Diary official series, but they did come out with something new. They're being very transparent lately. It seems like they're doing a lot more work. Here we can see a station under fire uh, that, that's directly in some serious distress. You can land on this station. Uh, again, we're getting back into A to B kind of fetch quest type stuff, which, you know, this is all exciting and good. This looks great. I love that they did something different with the stations. It looks completely out of control and completely chaotic. In fact, they're going to show you soon when they go inside, it's actually on fire. So that's pretty cool. So you got to go up. You got to get in there. You got to pick up the people in the station and take them out. And those are your missions. So these, this is directly related to uh, what's happening right now. So the other thing that they're going to bring back within a week are also community goals so uh elite dangerous community goals was a way in which to bring people together dutch like community goals were things that people worked on together they were missions that you would do for a faction and they would usually bring people or you know since the biggest gripe i have is it's so many systems billions of systems which is great design wise but leads to no interaction with other human beings generally speaking if you're just logging in trying to find people unless you're unless you have a friend and you log in with that friend and you're playing with that friend if you're trying to find anybody any, under any different circumstances it's very difficult community goals brings people together and and community goals were a way in which i would find people and then i would get busy with my pirate mode now a lot of people will go oh my god here we go a, a griefer no i just didn't do like the standard ramming i didn't do like everything that you see on there i made the, the it exciting for me like i would hail them i would say hey drop your cargo i go through a whole bunch of things and and make it as real an experience as i could and if you want to check that out i will link that on the youtube highlight it's called elite dangerous uh bringing the dangerous and i started the series because i realized that there was no dangerous too elite dangerous and a lot of the uh reception was great on the series a lot of the reception from the people in the game was great they actually had a good time getting like pirated because i made it very real for them many people were like oh my god this is actually really cool it feels real it feels like i'm in space it feels dangerous and you know uh, they kind of drifted away from that and i'm hoping odyssey brings like player to player interaction back because player to player interaction is definitely missing we can see inside the station very cool graphics you can see it's on fire you pick up the people so it's a little bit different than the the stranded one where you saw like uh, a couple uh months ago where there was a stranded um uh, ship that had drifted from space or drifted from earth and was out there for quite a long time and they found it and essentially went inside it didn't look any different and then you had to get them food you know this is a lot different they're starting to do new things here they're starting to make it look a little bit more interactive and i hope they go another step and i hope they bring in more player to player interactions if they do that great i think that's what they're trying to accomplish with odyssey I'm not quite sure, but I like that they're bringing community goals back. So I'm starting to get interested a little bit again in Elite Dangerous because they're, I think what they're what they're really starting to realize is that 
people want to play with other people. I think a lot of the people in the Elite Dangerous community got so isolated because so many of the people that, that were playing were explorer mode only and, and became c c elite. The game became quote unquote elite. And anybody that did anything different than just look at the planets and go out a billion systems out and do these like exploration journals and stuff, which is cool. That's cool. Like if that's your jam and that's the way you like to play, I'm not trying to down it. But there's a lot of people out there that like to play with other players. There's a lot of people that want that community interaction. And I think community goals will bring that back. So this is a plus. This is very good news for me in the elite dangerous world. And uh, the developers, again, are being very transparent. They're starting to push more content out. And the title's starting to make me feel good again. Like, I, I feel like they've realized the, the, the mistake that they, the, that, they're getting, that they were getting too elite and not enough dangerous. And they get people back in through community goals. And I think community goals will spice it up. I really think you'll get that spicy kind of player to player interaction that, that a lot of us have been missing, but they've got a lot still to fix because PVP is so busted and there's a lot of PVP players out there. And I really get upset that kind of the PVP community gets labeled as griefers. Like it's just not a fair label to put on PVPers. Like, like the like anybody that's playing Elite Dangerous. Uh, this is a, kind of like a broad brush right now, but it seems like on the Reddit forums and on on the Elites forums, if anybody wants PVP, you're a griefer, which is bullshit. I mean, that's just not that's not the way that it is. So there's plenty of people that aren't griefing that just like PVP. Uh, there's plenty of people that respect other people that don't like PVP that will not step on them. Uh, there's people that like PVP like myself that realize there are some people that don't like PVP and still try to get them into it in, in, in any way they can. And then we'll step off if they're like completely like, eh. there is a solo mode in this game, by the way. Like, this is the thing. People are in a multiplayer kind of mode play, wanting to play solo mode. And my advice is this. If you don't want to interact with people, go solo mode. Go Han Solo on it. You know, because that's what it was there for. That's intended. That's, that is what it is there for. So anyway, I love PvP. I love player-to-player -player interaction. And I think community goals coming back is a very, very positive thing for Elite Dangerous. I also like the direction it is headed. That's the verdict. Let me know what you guys think. The fam is here letting us know. Thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next streamer vid.